What it do, what it do, what it do, all my real ones out there, it's your boy Walt Real, and again with another brief video. We're going to touch bases on this little debacle that happened during the Oscars last night. Now, I'm going to just share my thoughts on it because people are up in arms about it on social media, everyone's talking about it. If you hear noise in the background, the little child videos, Lucas, the spider, and all that stuff, my little, my little baby's with me, so try to forgive me. Um... I'm just going to share my thoughts on it and, and leave it at the floor and then y'all get in the comment section and we can keep the conversation moving forward. Now, if you are just waking up to the world or you've been living under a rock, um, something happened at the Oscars last night. Now, there was a joke. People were taking stabs at Jada and Will Smith throughout the Oscars last night. And... At the end, uh, towards the end, close to the end, Chris Rock made a joke about uh, Jada, and um, in reference to G.I. Jane, which was a popular movie, I think, back in the 90s, um, with the mean Moore, and she cut her hair off uh, as a soldier. Um, and if everyone knows, Will Smith's wife is bald, not because of choice, but because she has an illness. I can't repeat what that is. Alcopecia or whatever it's called. Alcopecia. Al Alcopecia. I don't know what it is. You know. Uh, no disrespect to her. I know what it's like. Personally and throughout my life. To go through certain illnesses. And some things you just don't joke about. But. In my opinion. Most comedians. Not comics. Comedians. Make light out of negative situations. And we could go down the line. Martin Lawrence had made fun about Rodney King getting his ass whooped. Now, that was a serious situation, but people laughed at it. Bernie Mac made fun of them beating kids in the head with hammers and shit because they are off the chain. But again, it it was joking. People make jokes. Comedians make jokes. So here's my thought on that. Will Smith has been disrespected and talked about for about a few years now because of the situation between him and his wife and his entanglement. And Will Smith didn't do shit. Thank you, baby. He had the moment many times over the past two or three years to get his issue off. And he did not do that. He waited till a comedian who was a friend of the family make a light joke even before Chris... Uh, Rock made that joke. He told her, uh, Jada, look, I love you. Just to prep her for the joke, you know, just just, just to let him, her know that he's about to joke about it. Oh, Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> 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 that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Dick Mike's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? And Will Smith walked up and slapped him in front of national TV. Now, what did I think about that? I think that was a simp move. Now, why do I think that? When you have an opportunity to defend your lady, you do it in a way that's, that's real. Will Smith walked on stage, slapped him, then walked right away immediately. He didn't stay in his face. He didn't let him know how he felt about it to his face. He go sit down next to his wife and say, hey, hey, keep my wife's name out your mouth. As a person who grew up rough, been bullied, uh, been in many fights all my life. And after a while, people stopped bullying me because I just didn't take ish anymore. And a lot of people would be traumatized by that. But me, it was a learning curve. It actually developed me as a human being. So that uh, people not take advantage of you or use you or even hurt you. 
And so over time, people just knew better because I just wouldn't take that shit. And I wasn't afraid to get hurt or afraid to hurt you. Um, some people would take up arms because they scared to get their ass whooped and all that kind of stuff. I was never that dude. So real recognized real. You know, if you if you were the about if you was about that life and you was about defending your lady, you would have done that shit a long time ago and off camera. He chose to do it at a moment where he knew he can get away with it. And with the person he can get away with it with. Because had it been some OG like D.L. Hughley or Steve Harvey or Joe Torrey from the STL, people who I've known to mess you up on any given day. If they would have said that joke on stage and Will Smith would have went up and slapped them, they would have went to commercial break because they would have whooped Will Smith's ass all through the stage, no matter how and Finn he was or who he was as a person, they would have they would have hurt him bad. And they would have had to call the ambulance to scoop his ass off the stage. And that's just real talk. He slapped Chris Rock because he knew he can get away with it. Does that make him some kind of heroic victory? A man that's uh that uh is protecting his woman? No. You did that at the wrong place, homie, at the wrong time. You and Jada complained about the Oscars for damn near a decade because of its lack of occlusion of people of color. And so you decide to take a moment where you was invited to the Oscars because you possibly could have won for a win for Best Male Actor of the Year for King Richard and you couldn't conduct yourself in a better way? Now, I get it. Chris Rock said something he should never had said. But people know when a joke is a joke. And so if what a real G would have done was handle that shit backstage. When Chris was done with his monologue, he uh, announced the winner for that segment and he goes backstage, that's when Will should have got up, got in his face and let him know what time it was. But he did it in a way where it was shown on national TV in front of an audience, majority white audience. He slaps the man and then walk off. Then sit down and let him know what his, his thoughts was. Real G's don't handle shit like that. You know, they if, if that was really the issue, if that was really the problem, he would have stayed in Chris' face and let him know what time it was then. So, for me, it was just all theater. You know, because if I don't think somebody can grow balls overnight. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he's been dog for a few years, and people talked about him and his wife for a few years. And he has not been in the tabloids because someone said something to his face at the restaurant and he, he didn't slap the shit out of him. Because he didn't do that. He waited on the night where he could get away with it. And to me, that's just soft. Hitting somebody that's making fun of you, you know you can beat up or slap or get away with something. That, that make to me that's weak, and it's implications behind that as well. Will Smith is somebody that people look up to, uh, take his advice and things like that, and he's a black male. So when you get on stage in front of a wide audience and do what you did, even if you was trying to protect your woman, there's a lot of people who do who don't like us. They think of us as savages, thugs, and all kinds of stuff. And the nicest guy in the world to most uh, America, especially white America, you go out, get on stage and do thuggish stuff, only only makes people look at you or uh, look at your people in the same light. So you're not only... <laughs> you are not only setting a bad example for you and Chris, but you're doing it for all of us. Your imp- what you're doing, what he did, was some weak shit to me. Because he couldn't have done that. He couldn't have got away with that with anyone else that was a real G who's about that life. 
he wouldn't have done it. And this is how I'm going to prove to you with some weak stuff. Now, earlier in the show, Jada was made fun of by a comedian named Regina Hall, a black woman. And she basically made fun of their open marriage. Uh, well, I've come with a bit of bad news. As you know, everyone here has been tested for COVID, but unfortunately, some of the test results have gotten lost. So before we go on with the show, we just have to do some quick emergency testing backstage. Don't worry. It's only a few people. It's totally random. So when I call your name, I'm just going to need you to come with me. <laughs> now, I've got a list here, which I'm looking at. I have memorized. But uh, if you hear your name, I'm going to start with Bradley Cooper. <laughs> uh, Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Tyler Perry. Uh, Simu Liu. Um, and wait. Um, Javier Bardem, oh, you're still with Penelope. You know what, actually, no, 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 no. Your, your, your test is fine. It, it says that you're married. I'm negative, negative. Will Smith, um, you're married, but you know what? You're on the list and looks like Jada approved you, so you get on up here. Get on up here. <laughs> He told, she said to uh, Jada's face, hey, you know, since now I know it's okay to get at your husband, he needs to get on this stage too. That is almost as disrespectful as what Chris Rock says. But did Jada get on stage to slap the shit out of Regina Hall? No, because everybody know in, in Hollywood, especially among black actors and actresses, Regina Hall is about that life. She's straight hood. If J uh, Jada would have got out there slapped, they would have been fighting and Jada would have been laid flat on her ass. That's the reason why she didn't get up there and do that. She just pointed at her like, girl, okay now. And that's all she did. Even Will Smith was like, no, you're not getting me in trouble and was laughing about the shit. That's what, that's what I'm saying, man. That's a time and place for everything. Everything. Some women uh, on my social media thought that uh, Will Smith was in the right and that... Uh, they felt like most men who disagree with what he did wouldn't have done that to they la uh, for their lady. That's false. No, you're right. Simps wouldn't defend their lady. Exactly what Will did for the past few years. If if somebody was making fun of your lady, you address that stuff head on and you handle it like a man with that guy or woman face to face. Anybody can talk shit and do shit online, get on uh, computers and tech shit, make themselves seem real tough. And then do shit like what Will did, slap the shit out of uh, uh, Chris Rock on live TV in front of every, in front of mostly white audience and walk away as if you hard or you doing something um, noble for your lady. You ain't doing nothing noble, homie. You, you embarrassed yourself. You embarrass Chris, and you embarrass us as a people, and that's just how I feel about it. A real man would have got behind the stage, uh, talked to him face to face, and handle your business then. You don't do sucker shit and walk off as if you was doing something hard or something. We know how you feel, man. You feel embarrassed and stuff like that because of what your lady did to you, but that's a choice you and your lady made together. You decided to make a choice to have an open marriage. You made the choice to do all these type of stuff. So to say that what Chris Rock said, you know he was doing that out of fun. He wasn't doing it as a disrespect to your lady. To, my, to make yourself seem like you was being a defendant of your lady or you had some kind of balls or something or a backbone or a spine, get that shit out of here. Because you would have done it to somebody else who was about that life years ago. You would have done it with Austin, the dude that you gave your blessings to when he was making you look like a fool. You would have done it to him. You see what I'm saying? Like, no, man. Real people see right through that shit. You you embarrassed us. And you, you should have greater restraint, in my opinion. All right? But, hey, 
y'all can think I'm wrong, man. Get in the comment section and let's hash it out or whatever. Um, let me know if you feel the same way and if you have uh, dissent, man, let, let me know. All right? But other than that, man, we as a people got to do better. You know, uh, if you know someone's going through a mental state or whatever and they feel like they're going to break or whatever, don't edge them. Don't push them to the edge, man. Act in kindness and act in love. Um, but if, if things happen the way to where you have to do what you have to do, man, do that shit at the right time, man. You know, be a real G about it. Because, yeah, I, I, to me, that was just weak to me. Because Will could have handled that better. Flat out. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. It's been your boy Walt Real. And again with another video. I'm going to holler at you later. What's a bad boy but my name ain't Diddy though. Way I rock my bird, they probably think I was from Philly though. STL my home, you peep that bird on my city though. Call me head and cut me up. I don't think that they hit me though. Bang that bang, drop that thing. Call me head and let it flow. Rasky voice from the south, but my name ain't Mr. Cow. Used to run up on them boys, they look like what that pistol for. When Mike was rocking Billy jeans, I was a smooth criminal.